Good morning. Buenos dias. Yo, do I have the Wi-Fi on? Yeah. Buenos dias. All right. Hold on. What up, Alex? What up, everyone joining the live stream? What up? What up? What up? Yo, how the hell I wake up and the first thing I see when I wake up, I'm like, wait, we got a Nintendo. We got a Nintendo Direct coming in a couple days, bro. Yo, buenos dias, man. Good morning, dudes. He said, what's good? We chilling. We chilling. What's up? Oh, hell yeah. You said, it's Balloon Boy. I am bread. I am bread. I am Groot. Bro. So we got a Nintendo Direct coming real soon. Oh, shit. There we go. He said, the last Direct. Hell yeah, it might be the last direct of this year. But Smash Brothers, bro, I don't know. I mean, best believe I'm a live stream that shit. What day is that? November 1st. What day is that? Today's the 30th, 31st. Wait, hold on. Someone in the chat tell me, what day is that? Is that a Friday or is that a Saturday? You said it's on Thursday? You said Pyra and Rex leaks are fake? I mean, here's the thing. If we don't get Pyra and Rex, I'm not going to bitch about it. There's some people out here that's like, when they don't get the character they want, per se, Waddle D or Ashley from WarioWare, niggas start ranting all over the internet like, fuck Nintendo, we should have gotten Ashley from WarioWare. I'm the type of person, if if I don't get the character I'm wishing, because he, he, that's the thing too, you got to keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, it's a wish. You wish this character could get into the game. If they don't get in, don't start bitching about it and then start harassing Sakurai. Like, I'm that type of person. You know from day one I've been saying, bro, I want Rex, Pyra, and Mithra to get in the game because I think it would be amazing to see them in the game. If they don't get in the game, I'm not going to bitch about it. I'll just be like, okay. We still got a big ass roster. We still got a lot of characters in the game, so I'm not gonna bitch about it. Maybe they'll come out later on as DLC. So I'm like, who knows? But some dudes be like, if they don't get their character, bro, they got their pitchforks ready, they got their lynching strings ready, like they're about to hang themselves. Like, yo, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'll be like, calm down, bro. He said, Goku. I don't know about that, man. <laughs> For some reason, I don't want Goku. Like, I already told you guys many times. I, the reason why I don't want Goku in Smash is because it's going to open Pandora's box. And then every other anime character is going to have to get it. Nyx is going to want Luffy, then Naruto, then Yugi, then Yu Yu Hakusho, then Light Yagami, then freaking Zoro from One Piece. They're going to want every other fucking anime character in there, and it's going to be annoying. But if he gets in, he gets in. He said, Etika for Smash, it's planned. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? Etika was like, yo. You, you, it's, like, it's like, think about that shit, right? Didn't Etika say, he said, after October, I'm going to come back and live stream. And when is the Nintendo Direct? After October, on November 1st. Hmm. The shit, the, the shit is looking very suspicious, bro. I don't know what information Etika has, but that shit's looking sus as fuck, Etika. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I, he's like, I'm gonna wait till October finishes and I'm gonna stream again. But right on November 1st, we have a Nintendo Direct. Hmm. He said, Bandana D, destroyer of gods. Yo. He said, what do you think about the Undertale thing? What Undertale thing? I didn't see any Undertale thing. You said Etika was a Nintendo Ninja all along. You said, what if a demo was announced? I don't want them to announce a demo. Because then if it gets announced, then we're going to get, then they're just going to leak the shit out of the demo. And you already know everyone, like, everyone is skilled right now. Everyone, everyone knows how to data mine and shit. I mean, me, I could have, I could have live streamed this on YouTube, but I'm like, nah, whenever I want to talk about like regular shit, I just live stream it on Twitch. Not Twitch, um, Twitter. He says Shofu was talking. Shofu was talking about a direct announcement for today and yesterday. He says Undertale announcement tomorrow, maybe a sequel. Undertale announcement? You mean like a sequel? Undertale Twitter page is bonks. Where the creator is rumoring an Undertale release tomorrow. Etika 
Whoa. Check the Undertale Twitter account. A new Undertale announcement. Whoa. If we get a new Undertale game, I'm going to have to go right now on my Nintendo Switch and play the first one. Because, I mean, I've seen people halfway play it. And I don't understand. But if I do get Undertale, I'm going to try to do all the runs. I'm going to try to go for Genocide Run. I'm going to try to go for Peaceful Run. All the I know about the runs that you have to do. Like the Pacifist Run, Genocide Run, and all that other shit. But... I never personally played it, and I don't know the story behind it. You said, I thought Etika did that shit? What, uh, he did Undertale. Etika up, um, I mean, Etika, he did Genocide Run and all the other Undertale shit, but he deleted it all with his channel. But it, it used to be there. He had all the live streams up. He says, Sora will be an assist trophy? Bro, I'd be disappointed. He, here's my thing when it comes to Sora and Kingdom Hearts. You either put him as a character or don't put him in the game at all. That would be disrespectful to fucking t take an assist trophy, p pull it up, and Sora comes out saying, give me strength. I'm going to be like, no, nigga, I want to use you. I don't want you to be an assist trophy. Like, it's so random to make Sora an assist. Noctis for Smash? I don't even know who the fuck Noctis is. But it's either you put him as a character or don't put him in the game at all. You said Isaac was not an assist trophy on Smash 4? He says, bro, if Cloud can come in, then Sora can. No, of course. If Cloud could get into Smash, I don't know why Sora can. But some, some dude just said in the comments, Sora is going to be an assist trophy. And I'm like, nah. If so, I, I don't want Sora in the game if he's going to be an assist trophy. I want him to be an actual character. You said Leon Scott. Leon Scott Kennedy is an assist trophy. Rex X confirmed. <laughs> he said Monokuma Get Monokuma into Smash Brothers You can put Monokuma's in assist trophy That would be funny Like you just hit the shit It's punishment time He comes out and a whole bunch of Monokumas Try to grab you and shit and then try to execute you That would be fucking cool as hell He said Sakurai was talking He was talking since yesterday What? On his Twitter to check out Nintendo Live Happening this weekend He said what do you think about he said, what do you think about 2B and Soul Calibur? I, I never saw that. People told me about it in the live stream, and I never got to see the whole 2B and Soul Calibur thing. Are you talking about actually 2B, or are you talking about someone character creating 2B? Because then that's a difference. He said, Thursday is going to be lit. He said, I just joined, so I might have missed. Let me see. He said, I might have missed most request fighters. No, you didn't miss too much. Riku gets in and uh, <coughs> you said Riku gets in and Sora get Sora gets trophy assist. I'd be bad. I'd be bad, bro. I want Sora in. I mean, if Sora gets in, make Sora get in. I mean, if Riku gets in, I'm not gonna bitch about it too. But damn, that's gonna be kind of like disrespectful. I'm like, how you have Sora as an assist, but Riku as that's like that's like putting Luigi in a game and having Super Mario as a fucking assist trophy. I'd be like, damn, Mario's the fucking mascot. Mario's the John Cena of Nintendo. Like, why do you have him as an assist trophy? You said no actual 2B with her own moveset? I have to see that then. I didn't know 2B actually got in. Yo, I should continue playing fucking near Automata. Like, I want to play it, but then there's parts of me that's like, ah, it's such an old game. I don't think anyone's going to be into it. <laughs> this guy said, you're fucking gay. I love you too. Give me one second. I'm about to get, a, I'm about to get my coffee. Hold on. If anything... You guys could talk to Isabel. She knows like all the information that comes to Smash Brothers. So you guys could just ask her any question you want, alright? Alright? So they're gonna ask you like Smash related questions. You probably know more about it. So all you gotta do is just answer it and just do whatever, okay? I see, I'm gonna get some coffee.
Thank you, Isabel. You may come with me. Chill over here. All right, I got my, I got my cup of coffee. I can imagine what everyone was t- um, saying to Isabel. It's <laughs> Isabel looking like she ready to square up. Yo, yo, Isabel. Here's the thing too. I'm, I'm actually a little happy to use Isabel in Smash Brothers. Because I used to, Villager used to be like my second main. Like I used to, in Smash Brothers, I used to play as, um, my main was Mario. Then I had like a secondary Wario character. And then like, I had like secondary as well, um, what's his name? Villager. I really like to use Villager as well. So to have like, Isabel come through, I'm like, okay, this is going to be kind of cool to use. Shit. Trying to get some donuts. Oh, how's this phone going to stand still? All right. You said if the leaks are true, we got 79 characters. You said what Kingdom Hearts stage would you want? I want Castle Oblivion. Castle Oblivion? Nah, nigga. I mean, Castle Oblivion will be cool. I'm not going to totally disregard it because here's the thing, too. I never, ever played. There's a lot of Kingdom Hearts games that I also wanted to play on stream, like 3D Dream Drop Distance. I never played that shit. I played it like halfway through on prod mode on my 3DS, and I got completely uninterested, and I stopped playing it. Um, Chain of Memories I never played. I want to play Chain of Memories. And I feel like I don't know too much about Castle of Oblivion. If I was to have any Kingdom Hearts stage into Smash Brothers, it would be um, it would be Hollow Bastion, or AKA Radiant Garden, or I mean Hollow Bastion is is so is so awesome. I like Hollow Bastion, AKA Radiant Garden. Destiny Island would be good too. Yeah, I would like to see Destiny Islands in Smash. He's a retro says he'll finish Kingdom Hearts, but doesn't. I want to. Mm. You said they're releasing all the games on a two disc set. He's like, where's the coffee? Right here. Well, you see, you see it. Finish near first. I finished Nier, and, and then out of nowhere, people are telling me, oh, Nier Automata has, like, five endings. I'm like, I'm like, what kind of game does that shit? <laughs> they, they, they make you finish it, and then, and then you got to replay it in different perspectives. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> Best husband ever. Undertale. I wanted to play Undertale on my channel. I remember I did a um, a stream poll. I was like, would you guys have to see me play Undertale? The reception was so negative. Niggas was like, fuck you, Retro. If you play Undertale, I will hate you forever. I was like, god damn. I'm like, it's just a game. People were pissed. Best boy Kokichi to lie, bro. The set includes the remaster of Dream Drop Distance. When does that come out? Because here's the thing. I want to buy Dream Drop Distance because I think it comes with 2.8, the prologue. But then I hear a lot of people says, oh, don't don't, don't get the 2.8, the prologue because it's short. And I mean, like, it's okay. Um, and I, I never even played the prologue. But that shit's still like $60. I'm not going to spend $60 on 3D Dream Drop Distance in a prologue. Mind you, it's kind of old now. And and whatever store I go to, I'm like, okay, let me look for Dream Drop Distance, the, the remake. Oh, 60 bucks. I'm like, I'm not paying 60 You said, I just got my PS4 for Spider-Man outside of Kingdom Hearts. He said, uh, outside of Car- Kingdom Hearts, he says, what should I play? As like a PlayStation exclusive. You ever play Nathan Drake? Uncharted? Uncharted is, is a good series. Uncharted is good. Heavenly Sword is good, but it's very old. 
Jack and Daxter. You got to play the Jack and Daxter. Well, you know what? I'm not even going to say it like that because I'm not even that big of a Jack and Daxter game. But Jack and Daxter is very like monumental when it comes to PlayStation. Ratchet and Clank, though. I was always a Ratchet and Clank kid. I didn't I didn't like Jack and Daxter as much, but Ratchet and Clank was so much cooler to me, bro. It's a Lombax with a goddamn robot with green eyes, and the robot was a secret agent. Clank, and, and then you had Dr. Nefarious, you had um Captain Quark, bro. Ratchet and Clank, in my opinion, I loved them way more than um Jack and Daxter. Ratchet and Clank is fucking badass. Mm. Play play Ratchet and Clank. Hey, Sir Fluffy Fox is in here. What's up, brother? He said, can I play Red Dead Redemption 2 without playing 1? That That's a good question, too. Because I never played Red Dead Redemption 1, but I, I feel like it's like Grand Theft Auto, but in the Wild West. You said Wendy is a prequel? Hey, Ty's in here. I'm just having breakfast right now. I'm just I'm just eating a fucking donut and drinking coffee. He said, what kind of donuts am I eating? It's out of like this pack. I think these are like coffee cake donuts or something. It's like, it's like a donut, but it's like, it looks like it's like have little coffee cake crumbs on it or some shit. I'm just eating one of these. You said Sakurai should put Etika in Smash Bros. That'd be funny as fuck. He said, "You're making me hungry. Just eat. Just eat breakfast." I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie. I just woke up not too long ago. I have a very bad sleeping schedule. Like my body is accustomed. Like it does not sleep till like 4 a.m. Like, I could lay down on a pillow literally at nighttime and force myself. I'm like, sleep, sleep, sleep. I will not sleep till it hits like 4 a.m. And then I will not wake up till it hits like 11 in the afternoon or 12 in the afternoon. And it pisses me off. I have a very terrible sleeping schedule. I have to I have to fix it. I don't know how. In my head, I'm like, maybe I should work out really hard during the day. And then probably when it hits nighttime, I, I sleep faster because I'm, I'm tired. But it's crazy. So you guys are saying evisceration final smash. Oh, it's Fernando. Yep, it's Fernando. His, his name is Blue Inferno. Oh, that that's probably like your Twitter name. Yo, Fernando. I was about to join you um playing Fortnite, I think like yesterday, but then I didn't. Bro. You saw the the new Fire Emblem Hero units, bro? They have freaking Erica, bro. She's looking nice in that art. Mm. Mm. All right, no more donuts. Fuck that shit. I feel like I'm getting fat as fuck. I just ate one donut, and I'm like, I feel fucking big already. You said someone actually said that Tarzan is going to be announced for Smash. Okay, now everyone's just memeing at this point. <laughs> you guys are just memeing. Tell me now, right? I thought it was just me that thought it. You said her art looks like her normal infantry selection. That's true. It looks like, I, um, I believe it's made by the same artist. It has to be made by the same artist, but it's just, it looks really nice though. Cause like she has way more armor Her her attack animation or like her attack art looks really nice. I'm gonna try to go for her. He says, did he says, do you believe the Grinch leak? I didn't even look that into the Grinch leak. I didn't look that into it. He says, screw my class. This is more important. Hell no. You better go to, you better go to class. I don't want you to get in trouble, man. He says, Shadow the Hedgehog. I mean, it would make sense if they put another Sonic character. It, Sonic is the only character in there, right? It's only Sonic. I would assume that they would have put at least Knuckles in there or Shadow. I mean, if Shadow gets into Smash, I'm not bitching about that. Because to be honest, I think 
when I was a kid, Shadow the Hedgehog was like my favorite character because of his whole edginess and chaos control. He was so edgy. I like Shadow the Hedgehog, so I, I don't mind him getting into the game. But Bandana D, bro, if I see Bandana D, I thought it was a knife. It's a fucking paintbrush. But if Bandana D gets in this shit, bro, I'm going to be pissed. He said Metal Sonic. Oh, Metal Sonic would be cool, too. Ken and Shadow will make the most sense retro. True. Because, I mean, Ryu is the only nigga in there. You need to put another Street Fighter character in. Sonic is the only Sonic character in there. You have to put Shadow in there. And for the love of God, here's what I got to say if they put them in the game, right? Give them a different moveset, please. Don't make them exactly identical like the other person. Like, don't make Ken do the same shit as Ryu and then probably be like, oh, he has different elemental properties like instead of when he does shoryuken ken's has fire on it i'm like no 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 you got to change up their moveset make something different like make them i want them to be different from each other differentiate the characters don't make them the fucking same you said chun li you said please give shadow a spike hell yeah give shadow a spike of some sort shadow with a spike would be cool just just make them different i, I don't like it like like, don't put a new character in and make him the fucking same as any other character in the roster. You said Akuma? You said they are... He says then they're not Echo? I just don't want them to... To be so fucking the same. It's like, it's, it's boring. It's like, I remember when people were asking for Paper Mario. I'm like, why? Why are we going to get paper? Like, like we already have like three Marios in the game. Some people were like, oh, we should get Paper Mario and Smash. I'm like, why? I mean, like, I'm not going to lie. I love Paper Mario. But then in my head, I'm like, another Mario? Like, we have like five Links. We have Toon Link, Young Link, <laughs> Breath of the Wild Link. We also like, if you're changing costumes, we have freaking Twilight Princess Link. <laughs> like, we have so much... We have so much links. And then it's like we have so much Mario. We got regular Mario, Dr. Mario. For the love of God, low key in the game, like suspiciously, we have Metal Mario. He said, bro, we got like 50 Fire Emblem characters. That's a fact, too. But if they were to put any Fire Emblem character in the game, to be honest, I would either want them to put no more swordsmen. Please. Put some different types of units. In Fire Emblem, you notice how every Fire Emblem unit that we have in Smash Brothers, they're all sword units. In Fire Emblem, we have different types of units. We have archers, we have lance units, we have axe units. Give us some different units. Give us a fucking Hector. Give us um, give us a lance unit. You know, like why are the, why do we only have sword units? I understand sword is the preferred, but give us a different type of unit. I can imagine how brolic a lance unit would be in Fire Emblem. Like, I don't know, bro. Give us a fucking different type of unit. You said Leon and Ada for Smash? Like in Resident Evil? Nah, bro. Leon and Ashley, bro. Ashley will die in one hit and you'll instantly win the game. And then the second you pick her up... Leah, Ashley. Mm. Camilla, as an axe user, put her big ass titties in that game. Hell yeah! Makoto joined Smash. I am the ultimate lucky student. Crash, Crash Bandicoot in Smash. Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie is one of those characters that me I would love to see in Smash Brothers. You know why? A lot of people, to be honest. In this day and age, they don't give a fuck about Banjo-Kazooie. Why? Because they didn't grow up with Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo-Kazooie is a very old, nostalgic character from, like, Nintendo 64. And I remember when I was a kid, I grew up with that shit. Um, I remember when I was a kid, I used to have nightmares with Banjo-Kazooie because whenever I would have to play the game, I was always scared of Gruntilda, which was the witch, a.k.a. the bad guy of the game. Whenever her laugh came through, 
It's like in Magic Kazooie 2, whenever you hit game over and save and quit used to be the most annoying shit for me because they would show you a bad ending purposely just so they can make you feel bad in Banjo Kazooie. So it's like in Banjo Kazooie, if you were like, damn, I played this game for like 10 hours today, I'm fucking tired. I want to save the game and I want to fucking quit and I want to go eat some food or some shit. They would purposely give you a bad ending in Banjo Kazooie. And it's just, it's fucked up. <laughs> and also in Banjo Kazooie, I remember there was a there was a thing that they used to do in Banjo Kazooie that if you used to cheat, the game would warn you that you better not cheat or else it's going to erase all your save data. And if you cheat, it will erase all your save data. He said, can we delete November? I don't know, bro. But Banjo Kazooie is, is a classic, bro. He says, um, what are the chances of getting a demo right after the direct? I mean, if Sakurai's feeling generous, it's rather high. But me, like I said, personally, I don't want them to release a demo because they're going to data mine the shit out of it. They're going to data mine the shit out of that demo. Like that demo is going to be data mined so hard. They're probably going to find an image for like a DLC character, right? Like tell me not. Like they're probably going to find like a like a like a tiny ass microscopic PNG of a certain character that, that it resembles that's not in the game yet. And they're going to be like, well, it's confirmed. Master Chief is coming into Smash, bro. I saw a freaking Warthog. I mean, I saw I saw the Master Chief battle gun that he used to use in Halo 1. Like, I see it's PNG. It's there. I see the logo. I see the Halo sign. If they find anything, it's a wrap, bro. They're going to data mine the shit out of that game. I know it. He said, Master Chief, bro, they're going to data mine the game, like, really hard. So if I was Sakurai, I know people are anxious for Smash Brothers. But niggas is going to have to wait because, honestly, they're going to data mine it. Even if the game releases, they're going to data mine the living shit out of that game. But it doesn't matter. It's just like, we only have a couple of days left. If Sora was to get in, he'd be DLC. That'd be the easiest money i spend. I'm going to spend that money. I just hope the Smash Brothers online servers are good. I hope it's good online. I'm scared that the online service is going to be doo-doo. Like, um, like on some like Mario Tennis Aces. That online was doo-doo, bro. I'm scared, Mario. I'm scared, Mario. You, you know what? That's the crazy part. That's why you guys haven't noticed I'm playing Mario Tennis Aces anymore. Remember, like, the first two live streams, how laggy it was? It turned me off, and I never played that game again. You said what? You said Sakurai wanted to show everything. Guaranteed new game. Oh, guaranteed the new game mode? But bro, they have to they have to make sure that online is good. He said, I hope they bring back the the ballot. But wasn't the first ballot rigged? Didn't Etika make a video saying that the first ballot was apparently rigged? Like no matter who won, Bayonetta was all, already gonna be in the game regardless of the ballot. But then here's the thing too, when the whole ballot shit happened, people memed. People were like, I want Corey in the house. People were like, I want Shrek in the house. And they were very high on the on the ballot roster. Why? Because those were mean characters. People weren't taking the ballot serious. People were like, fuck it, bro. I want Hannah Montana on the fucking Smash ballot. Like, like no one was giving a shit. The ballot was rigged and the ballot was spammed full of memes. Mm. You see, look at this guy. He says, I want Bill Nye the Science Guy in Smash. Spongebob for Smash. He says, so you telling me Shrek could have been in our timeline? Bro, Shrek could have been in our timeline if Nintendo like considered it. You said, it's cool to think that I voted for Ryu, Simon, and Sora, and we have two of those? Mm. You said the ballot was just a placeholder for Ultimate? Really? I'd be scary as fuck. We see the direct on Thursday. And all you see is, oh, hello there. And everyone's just like, Shrek. <laughs> he got to come out. What are you doing in my swamp? Fucking final smash. That'll be some funny ass shit. Oh, hello there. Douche. And there's like the whole animation stream. Like, like, like you have entered Shrek swamp. That'll be fucking crazy. I think that would break the fucking internet. No Nut November will be hard. 
you know what? I'm going to attempt No Nut November. And I'm probably going to do No Shave November as well. I want to grow my beard back. But then there's a part of me that's like, I don't want to grow my beard back. Because it's like, you know what's weird? It's like, when I have my beard, it makes me look like like I'm fat or some shit. But then when I shave it off, I look better. He says, Shrek and Donkey Ice Climbers Echo. He said, I will participate. I don't know, man. I don't know. But yeah, man. What else could we talk about? Um, the Smash Direct shit. Yeah, it's going to be hype. Um... What other Nintendo games is coming out, though? Oh, the whole Undertale shit, which I absolutely don't know anything about this Undertale thing. If if Undertale's coming out with a sequel, then then I'm going to have to cop Undertale 1, like, ASAP. Like, I'm going to have to cop it, and I'm going to have to, like, play it. He said, damn, you still live? Hell yeah. You know me. When I'm live, I talk for a minute, bro. I like to talk um, about a bunch of shit. You said, um, did... You're asking me if I knew that Sakurai is underweight? Apparently, of course. He looks skinny as fuck. That's why we kept saying, like, bro. Like, like that's why we kept telling people, especially, like, when that whole shit happened and Waluigi wasn't in Smash and niggas were harassing him. I'm like, bro, the guy is underweight. He's unhealthy. He's probably stressed as fuck trying to release this game at a reasonable time. And then that's another thing, too. To be honest, I, I thought Smash Brothers Ultimate was going to get delayed at least, like, two times. Tell me not. Like, when I saw that shit at E3 or, like, the first time Smash was announced and then they kind of, like, showed footage of it. And then when they were like, oh, the game is releasing in, and I was like, when? November 2018. I was like, that's soon as fuck. I thought they were going to be, like, I don't know, 2019. But, bro, they're releasing Ultimate early as fuck. I I didn't expect it to come out this year. I I thought it was going to come out at least next year. But this year... You said, and he's sticking to December 7th as well. We don't deserve such a legend. I'm telling you. And then people out here were harassing him because Waluigi wasn't in. I'm like, bro, y'all fucking assholes for doing that shit. Like, that's what I'm saying. If your character doesn't get in, just suck it up. Don't be out here trying to harass this man. This man is working his ass off, bro. We got to pay. We got to pay salutes to that man. That man working day in and day out. He could be fucking in Dominican Republic with a bunch of Spanish bitches, but he over here working in his office, goddamn, trying to get a whole bunch of, trying to get all this game stuff done, trying to make sure the game is up to perfection, trying to nerf the shit out of Bayonetta. (laughs) Yo, yo, I was looking at so much footage of Bayonetta and Smash Ultimate, bro. Yo, they killed her, man. Like, her ladder, her ladder shit doesn't do anything, bro. Like, you could be at, like, 100 damage, and her ladder shit, especially when she doesn't up air, doesn't do shit anymore. It's it's amazing, bro. It's amazing. Damn, we got mad boys in here. Yo, how the hell are these hearts? He says, Good. He said, Master Chief or Steve, you had to choose. For fucking memes, I put Steve in. If the Grinch leak is true and Isaac is in, he says, um, it will be the, what? I don't even see that. It will be the true, wait, I can't even fucking read that. It will be the ultimate, oh my god, this shit keeps going away whenever I'm trying to read it. Oh, fuck it, that's it. it, it's fucked, let me see. I don't want to hide the chat. I want to show the chat. Okay. Retro Senpai for Smash? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. No, no one's going <laughs> to... Imagine. No one's going to main me. But yeah. What the fuck was that? Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Yo. He says, Steve. More like Triggered. Steve is Etika's Echo Fighter? I don't know. I don't know. Etika comes back, but as a Minecraft channel? I don't know what to think about that. Imagine. Etika for real facts. Yeah, there's somebody cursing like crazy outside. Let me see if I see them outside. Hold on.
That lady looks angry. That lady looks angry. She said, I was in the fucking projects. I was like, damn. You have to be so angry. So let's investigate. <laughs> Hell no. New York New York code of conduct is mind your own damn business. <laughs> I can imagine me being like Makoto Naegi. Just like when I see people arguing in the street, I just walk up to them. What's going on here? You can't lose your hearts to hope, to despair. Okay, let me see the Undertale thing you guys were telling me about. Let me actually hop on the PC and see the whole Undertale thing. I'm going to be with you guys. Let me see. Why did Undertale change their text? You said neck beard head ass? I have no neck beard. All I have is this little shrub. Is this their channel? It looks he says, Hey, did you know Undertale came out on Nintendo Switch today? But what happened to their whole channel? They they dead etiquette their channel. Like why is Undertale completely blacked out like this? <laughs> Blue Inferno says, I'm going to participate in this year's No Nut November. <sighs> I will try to participate as well. But it's going to be a hard feat. I can imagine after week one, <laughs> everyone's going to be angsty as fuck. Or like, everyone's just going to be very like, how do you say? Everyone's just going to be a little like, too on edge. I can just imagine. Like, on No Nut November, you're going to be like, week one. You're going to be like, week two. <laughs> Week two, you're gonna be like, someone fucking like, just just brushes up against your shit, like by mistake, like for example, you're in the subway or something, and then like, you know, in the morning time rush hour it gets very full, someone just brushes up against your freaking groin, strongest ass Digimon boner, you're gonna be like, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of problems, bro. I don't know what this is this is some sort of google game it's a game from google what is this use your arrows what is this collect fire flames take the flames back to your house Am I playing with actually other people? I'm purple? I'm an emo-ass purple? He said, fight me if you disagree, Lin for Smash. You know what? Let me leave this. Yeet. Okay. Okay. You said Lin is dead? Now, I, I would like I would like Lin to get into Smash Brothers. Lin would be nice. Google has a bunch of mini games. That is true. That is true. I was thinking of tonight maybe continuing Resident Evil. Resident Evil is a long ass game. In my head, I was like, okay, I think I'm towards the end. And I'm like, I'm nowhere near towards the end still. Oh my God. Look at all these lollies on my timeline. What the hell is this? Look at this shit on my timeline, bro. Look. No Nut November gonna be a fucking struggle. <laughs> I can imagine. No Nut November gonna be a struggle, bro. What the hell? He said Banjo-Kazooie for Smash? Hell yeah. 
I love Banjo Kazooie. Yo, I can't believe. So oh man. He said, that's Rem? He says, you catch these hands and feet? Oh, shit. He says, sauce? Yo, I can't wait to see the direct tomorrow, bro. Well, not tomorrow. Jesus, that little kid. <laughs> this is when you get knocked out of tournament and you join your friends in the, in the festivities. Look at this shit. Why you fell like that? Oh my god. Hold up. What are you doing in my house? <coughs> Hello. I'm sick, man. Why are you sick? <coughs> I'm, I'm sick. Okay. But yeah. He said the sauce? Nah, man. Banjo Kazooie for Smash Nathan Yemster. That'd be good. Salute, thank you. If I die today, it's okay. So I gotta go. I'll see you, man. Thank you for coming through. Now, me, I'm just chilling with you guys right now. In my head, I'm like, I could have streamed on YouTube, but then at the same time, I'm like, eh. Let me actually like just talk to you guys on Pinterest. He says, who am I maining? That's the magical question, because here's the thing when it comes to Smash Ultimate. We have to find out how... Um, we have to find out who can combo, what combos are, like, confirmed. We have to find out everything, because all that shit is different now in Smash Ultimate. So we don't know how each character is actually playing, or how they move, or how they work. Um, he says, um, did you see EJ's video on our press conference you guys had a press conference i didn't see that i didn't even know ej lennon had a press conference he said i played smash ultimate on comic con and you you said you're a cloud main i actually played smash brothers ultimate uh i played it in nintendo world it, it was okay i mean the game does look nice though but that was like months ago you said did I get my hands on what you says um did I get my hands on the demo no I, yeah I played the demo I played it for a little bit but these guys in Nintendo world they were very like how do you say they were up the ass about it just go to Twitter you'll most likely find it You said, think Indie Smash Bros? I think we have too much people trying to do Indie Smash Bros, to be honest. Maybe I'll be Tracer. Oh, I thought this was real. For a second, I thought this was real. I thought this Persona swap shit was real, like, as in-game DLC. Yo, I would have hopped back on Persona 5 real quick if I could, like, wear these outfits with the outfit swap. Woo! I would have been streaming Persona 5 today if that was the case. I would have been like, what? I'm putting, I, I gotta, I gotta, yo, Makoto's wearing Joker's outfit? Oh, that is so clean, bro. Okay. You say, are you going to play against your viewers when Ultimate drops? Yeah, of course. Of course. That's why I'm praying for the online connection to be good. That's why I'm praying that the connectivity is stable. I don't want it to be like Mario Tennis Aces where it's just doo-doo. And the connection is like some Splatoon shit because on Splatoon, I've really never had connectivity issues with Splatoon. But... With Aces, it's been terrible. You said, what track was that? That was some sort of Sonic the Hedgehog track. It was called, um, I'm going to retweet it. Because the Sonic team apparently did the shit. 
scary thing in three, two, one. Okay. You said, um, you said anyone remember arms? I, t I told you arms was going to die off, bro. No one believed me when I said that. I was like, arms is not going to last. Arms is not going to last. I felt it. Like I saw the game and I'm like, this game is not going to last. The same with Pokemon, um, the whole Pokemon game as well. Pokemon, that Pokemon fucking Tekken, Pokin, I was like, I'm like, I'm not touching Pokin, this game is not gonna last, and people were telling me, I remember back in the day, oh, Retro, when you're gonna get Pokin, I'm like, I'm not getting fucking Pokin, and then like, a week or two later, no one was talking about Pokin, same thing with ARMS, I mean, ARMS had a really cool concept, but the game, I could just tell from looking at it, I'm like, the game is just spam grab, it's just whoever can grab you first, wins and and every time i saw people playing in any type of scene competitively <coughs> in anything people were just spamming grab oh and the fucking arms is flying out trying to grab you like i'm just like bro they're just spamming grab no one's actually throwing punches they're just trying to grab you the whole time until their special meter goes all the way up then they start chucking a bunch of punches he said what pokemon do you want in smash Yo, I'm about to pick the most obscure Pokemon ever. Uh, who should I put? Um, put that nigga Shuckle because he has the highest defense. Oh shit, I'm looking at myself on stream. This shit is kind of creepy. Okay, that was kind of creepy. I saw myself on stream. Um, okay. You said Zorark, Spider-Man and the PS4 for Smash, wow, <laughs> well Pokemon, let me see, uh, Galudet, Zorark, a lot of people like Zorark, I don't know too much about the new age Pokemon, cause I kinda stopped, it's like, I'm not gonna lie, like, the, the season or like, the Pokemon games that I stopped at, like being interested in Pokemon, was like, um, Diamond and Pearl, once I reached Diamond and Pearl, and I beat Diamond and Pearl, I feel like any other game after that, I did not touch like that, like, I think Pokemon Black and White, then Pokemon Black and White 2, then Pokemon, no, I think after Diamond and Pearl was X and Y, I think I beat X and Y, I, I could say for certain, I think the last game I played, like, legitimately was X and Y, then, like, Black and White, then Black and White 2, then all these other Pokemon games with the Unova region, and I stopped. I was like, I I'm not touching. Like, there's a lot of Pokemon to this day that I don't even know who the fuck they are. Like, they look like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And that's another thing. What's up with these Pokemon that look like beasts now? Like, like we got these obscure-ass-looking Pokemon. Like, one of them is, it's like, a big-mouthed Pokemon. It looked like he's a gate to hell. Like, like what poke? Let me see if I find him. This shit. What, what, what the hell is this? What the frick is that? Guzzlord? Kind of ugly ass Pokemon is this? Why? Like, it looked like some gateway to hell type shit. Like, why is there a bright light all the way in the back of his mouth? I don't know, bro. Like, these Pokemon, these Pokemon are looking weird as fuck right now. Like, I'm not, I'm not enjoying how these Pokemon are looking. Before, they look like Oh, it's a, it's a Pokemon. No, now I'm like, what the fuck is that? It's a, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. He said, Guzzlord, more like Come Lord. Hey yo, hey yo. <clears throat> oh, that's what they're called. Let me see, Pokemon Ultra Beasts. This is the type of shit that just makes me not even want to get into Pokemon anymore. Like, what the hell are all these Ultra Beasts? Why are they called Ultra Beasts? Damn. 
They possess the power that transcends humans' understanding of the world. So they're like gods. Nah, man, these Pokemon look dumb as fuck. These Pokemon look stupid. Like, what the hell? Look at this, bro. He says they're from another dimension. Well, get rid of them, niggas. Like, look at this shit. It's a damn mosquito. It's a it's a diesel ass mosquito that went to the gym. What else we have, bro? Like, what is this? I don't like how they look. They look so ugly. What the fuck is this? This looks like something out of like Nickelodeon Maguzi or some shit, Cartoon Network. Like, bro, what is this? What is this? Polygon Pokemon now, bro? Fighting Polygon team? We're Smash Brothers now? What is this shit? Look, I'm, I'm being honest with you guys. This is the first time I'm actually seeing all these Pokemon. What is... Is this a bamboo god? Look at his arms. They look like bamboo sticks. Now we have Satan. Hold on. This guy says, okay, Glutton... This beast has an outstanding appetite, and it will completely devour anything in front of its eye. It's said that it devours not only objects, but the ground, rivers, and even the seas. I'm fucking, I'm fucking confused, bro. I'm fucking confused. What is this? You you call this a Pokemon, dude? You call this a Pokemon? What the fuck is this? Bro. You see, this is why I stopped. This is why I stopped, like, getting into Pokemon. It's because of shit like this. This is why I stopped. Like, like I'm, I'm sorry. Some people might get mad at me. These are not fucking Pokemon, bro. These are goddamn Yu-Gi-Oh cards. These are goddamn you. It's a goddamn syringe. It, it's a, it's a bat with with a syringe anus. Like what is this? So these are all the stupid beasts. I didn't even see this one. What the fuck is that? Well, that's why I'm done with Pokemon. I only know up to a certain region, and then. I stopped. Those Pokemon to me... Those Pokemon to me are like Dangan Rampa 3. It never happened. Okay. But anyway. He said a turkey baster. He said man... He said stunkfish is worse than all of these. Stunkfisk? Stunfisk? What the fuck is a stunfisk? Stunfisk. You said are you going to play Pokemon Let's Go? Yeah. Stunfisk? Doesn't look bad. He said Danganronpa 3 never happened? What? No. <laughs> you, you, you have to play the game to, under, to understand the context of, of how I'm saying it. You have to understand it. You have to personally play it to understand why I say that. Wait. Damn, I should work on a thumbnail, bro. 10 a.m.? When is the Direct, though? What time? Smash Bros. The, the, the Nintendo Smash Direct? When is that shit? Welcome back. Oh, it's at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, Damn, I might stream that shit early. Damn, 10 a.m.? Niggas is gonna have to wake up early that day. Damn, and you guys already you guys already know that I told you guys that that my sleeping schedule is fucked up. I don't wake up till like 11 or 12 o'clock, bro. For this, I'm gonna have to wake up early. You know what? Why the hell don't we just make a thumbnail? Let me see if I can just make a thumbnail for this. Um, Smash Brothers Ultimate.
He said, "Rise and shine, gamers." I'm gonna make like I'm gonna make like one of those thumbnails with my face on it, because everyone knows that if you make a thumbnail, you have to put some sort of clickbaity thing, because that's the only way like you'll get relevant on YouTube. But yeah, man. Damn it! I think family's coming up. They're gonna be like, "Hey." What are you guys saying in chat? You see, I'm on the West Coast. I have to get up at 7 a.m. Shit. What are you doing in my lair? All right, guys. But anyway, I'm going to text you guys. Well, I said text you guys like I have your numbers. He said, should Etika just move to Twitch? Yeah. He should just move to Twitch. But anyway, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. I'll see you later. I'll try to maybe do a stream today. And... Thursday is going to be lit. You says I take online classes. I'm good on Thursday. Hell yeah. You lucky. Peace out, bros. Thank you for watching. I'm probably going to delete this broadcast or anything. Peace. <laughs> See? Look at my cat. Look at Junko. Hold on. Look. I want to see Junko. <laughs> now. He's a killer with fire. Now nah, that's Junko. Now I can finally kill her. Remember how many times I want to kill you? Alright, come on. Now I'm not going to hurt her. Run, you little shit. Run. But yeah. I'll see you guys. Adios, amigos. Peace.